Hey, hey, YouTube family, how you doing? This is Rhonda with Rhonda Loves Life. Thanks for joining me. All right, in this video, we're gonna discuss Harry and Meghan, of course, and their Archwell Foundation. As many of you've heard, the Archwell Foundation, they raised $13 million in 2022. Guess how much they donated to charity, Mr. Harry and Meghan? They only th uh, donated a paltry $3 million. That's right. Out of $13 million, they only donated three. And the rest of the money is sitting in, in, in the bank accounts, unused. Is there a scam going on? Are they holding on to it because they know that they're going to need it? Why do I say that? I think they're holding on to it because as the famed author and good friend Tina Brown said, that Harry and Meghan, they are poor in comparison to their neighbors in beautiful Montecito, California. That's right, they are very poor. So let's run the numbers right quick. If they get 100 million from Netflix, uh, what, Harry got 30 million for the book, and what did Megan get for a Spotify deal? I don't know. Let's just say totals about $140 million. Okay, and they bought a $14 million mansion. Let's say the upkeeps put uh, the upkeep for that mansion would be 14 million would be about what? Let's, let's talk about the groundskeepers, the repairs, um, all of that. Let's say it's about a half a million a year. And then let's talk about Megan's clothes, her hair, cause you know she gotta buy a lot of perms, a lot of relaxer for her hair. I'm just joking. Um, the lifestyle, the private planes, security alone was six million before Harry made Megan and the family and the royal family a target. When he, uh, now the Taliban calls him a, rural, a war criminal. So he's gotta bump up security. That's going to be from six to eight million, right? A year. So when you think about it, if they're spending 10 million a year, they're going to run out of that $140 million pretty quickly. And I'm being conservative because you got to think about it. Uh, how much are those private jets? How much do those cost to fly around? I think they're what? Probably fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a trip if it's really upscale. And then what happened with this whole, uh, the flooding in Montecito? And the insurance company's gonna pay, I'm sure, but they gotta come out of pocket too. So Harry is not, Harry's a prince. He's never had to worry about money. When things get tight, that's when I think he's gonna leave uh, uh, Megan, I really do. Megan's the one that's running around, meeting billionaires at hotels. Uh, she's, she's scared shitless, she will not come outside. She's running them numbers and she, the, she, she see the cash running out because they will have to replenish that $145 million. My question to you guys, do you think they can? I don't think they can. Also, there's, there are rumors that Megan will go into politics. I think that that's, that's a false rumor. Megan will never win because she's not likable. I'm sorry. You got to be likable to, be, uh, to win in politics. People got to want to vote for you. I think with this whole uh, uh, scam that she pulled on the royal family by pulling their uh, one of their major assets, which is their son, their brother, their brother-in-law, Harry, you pulled him out of the royal family, out in the world where he really doesn't belong. You exposed him. Now we all see that he's got, he's a little loose upstairs. You did that, Megan. So you're not gonna win any awards and you're not gonna win any elections. I'm sorry, just being honest, just being honest. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of the video. Uh, by the way, Harry, Megan, give up all of that money. Give it up all to charity. That's why people donated it to you. All right, guys, let me know what you think of the video. Let me know, add your comments. Do you think that um, they're running scared and they're trying to hold on to every dime they can get? Or do you think that, uh, is it legitimate that they're holding on to the money? I don't know. I don't trust these two. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll chat with you soon. Love you. Ciao.